Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Acer's chairman and CEO, Jason Chen! Hello, Berlin. Good morning. We welcome you. And that's as much as my German can go. The rest I need to count on. Uh, Wilfred, where's Wilfred? Wilfred, our uh, president for West Europe and uh, Emmanuel, our local president for EMEA. And I want to take the opportunity to welcome all of you joining us for our event today and for people on the live streaming. Welcome to join us. Today, we plan to show you what Acer will be coming out next in the next few months. But before that, we we'll always want to come back to where we come from. Curiosity, progression, human spirit. And we upheld Acer's mission for 40 years that we would like to break the barriers between people and technology. It will be our opportunity today to demonstrate to you our transformation strategy in terms of how we provide technology innovation and the breakthrough to the industry from PC to gaming to VR, AR, content, artificial intelligence, big data, and the cloud related. For that, how many people here actually joined us last year in IFA, the same place? How many people? Thank you, thank you. For that, I assume you still remember this. announced our Petware product line, Powerball, uh, 12 months ago in Berlin. And I would like to invite uh, Eric Okerson to join me on the stage. Last year, actually, the same Annie we announced this product. You want to share with people how Powerball is doing? Well, Powerball is doing great. We started off with just a couple of countries assorting the product, and now it's in, I think, up to 11. So it's really grown. Um, it's an interesting product family. It's getting better. We're introducing new products. We're developing solutions that offer new use cases. And we're building out the business to include Internet of Things. Internet of Things. So it's an ecosystem that's growing, and so is our list of partners. This is, this is a really interesting product family. So we are having a, a very good progress so far, and we are announcing new product family. We have a product family, we're calling this Pabo Care, and there are several products in this. Pabo Wagtag is one, which does tracking. Pabo Munch, which is an improved feeder and interactive device. And then the iPuppy Go, which I'd like to take a moment to talk about. iPuppy Go, what is it and how does it work? So iPuppy Go is a small tag that will fit onto a pet's collar. It's powered by a small battery that lasts six months and it connects to a smartphone by Bluetooth. What it'll do is share information with the pet owner about the wellness of the pet. It will track how much activity the pet gets, how far it walks in a day, how much calories wait, it Wait, burns. wait, 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 you're talking about the wearable device that we nowadays track in humans, yeah. and we'll be able to do the same thing for tracking the pet activity. It's a pet wearable, it's going to collect data to help the user uh, understand their pet better, make sure their pet is healthier, and then it'll also help develop products to help your pet be healthy, like pet food, for Sounds instance. Sounds great! And we'll be able to provide a lot more information about the pet and improve the interactions between <coughs> the owner and the pet. Absolutely. And talking about the enjoyment, uh, nowadays, among the social media, it's an important moment that people would like to make sure that they capture. They call it relief, the moment. And six months ago, we announced Hello 360 in New York City. 
We did. More details about these flight So screens. this small device is an all-in-one 360 degree camera where the user can capture a moment, which is good. But then with the screen on the device, they can also edit. And then from this, because it's LTE connected, they can share. There's no other device needed, no tablet, uh, no PC. Because needed. I need to connect with other smartphones or PCs that you can just check the photo or the video, yep. edit it, and then upload it. Absolutely. And the product was interesting, and we are expanding it to Vision 360. So this is a really awesome product. I can't actually wait to get my hands on one for myself. This is the world's first 4K, 360 degree, connected in-car camera. In-car camera, 360 degree. 360 degree, so it'll have remote monitoring services. You can log in and see what's happening at your car. It will alert you if something happens to your car while you're away. So when you are driving, it will record. When you are not driving, it will be alerted as well. Yes, and it'll record moments while you're driving. If it's a nice scenery through uh, majestic hills you're driving through, or if there's an accident, it'll record that. So uh -huh. you have there's the no data. accident, but if anything happens, it, it will record. You know what else it'll do, Jason? Uh huh. It'll help you find your car in a parking lot. Well, I think I need one. <laughs> but the 360 degree camera doesn't end here. We're actually coming out with a premium device, and we call it the actual 360. So this is absolutely a premium device. It's a larger screen than the Holo 360. It has more cameras. Of course, it has the two for the 360 but it has a standard camera as well for taking standard digital photography. So I have two cameras in the back, 360 cameras and a regular camera as well. Larger screen, faster processor, and why this is important is it also is a connected device. So you can capture the moments, you have a larger screen now and a faster processor to edit and then upload and share, including live streaming. Live streaming, I think the streamers will love it. Yes. In the past few months, only few months, we already introduced lots of first to the market technology and product. We have the first fanless two-in-one PC. We have the thinless laptop for our Switch 7 product line. And we have the first fanless all-in-one product. We have the first metal fan in the world. We have the most powerful thing and light gaming PC, and the most powerful gaming laptop ever, the, X, the 21X product. I want to spend a little bit of time on this product line. In fact, 21X met its way on um, the front page of USA Today. Until today, we check it, there are more than 50,000 videos met based on this product, discussed about this product, probably the most discussed product ever. Um, the IT industry. But the good news for that is our limited offer is all shipped. So we're going to show you more interesting product. And for today, we'd like to show you a very gorgeous product line. Let's see the product on the video as far as 24. Show and share with people this wonderful, wonderful product, S24. You want to share with people more about the product? What does it do? Well, S24 is an all-in-one, and it's beautiful. We really focused on the design from both the industrial design, the appearance, as well as the experience and functionality. So you'll notice how incredibly thin it is. It's absolutely thin. 
We, we also made sure that the bezels on the side of the screen are very, very thin, so the display is as large as it can be in that small form factor. But we didn't stop there. We made sure that our design ethos, the effort we put in, made it a great experience for the audio solution. So we have fine-tuned the material for the speakers and the placement in the chassis to make a great audio experience. We even added a subwoofer into the base. The subwoofer in the base. Subwoofer in the base, great audio experience. The base isn't alone with the subwoofer, though. There is Qi wireless charging. Oh, you want to spend a little bit of time on this Qi technology that we will be able to provide us an extra Yeah, this is, this is important for people to know that they can sit down in front of this all-in-one and charge their wireless device, whether it's a phone or a tablet, maybe an upcoming smartwatch, something like that, and charge it wirelessly while they're working at that station, and then they're ready to go when, when the device is charged, they can go. I'd like to point out as well that as thin as this is, it has the eighth generation Intel Core processor. The new CPU! And it's the world's first all-in-one with eighth generation Intel Core processor. We're all very excited about that. Yes. Thank you, Eric. And switch product. It's a two-in-one product. Pushing the boundaries of human achievement. We introduce to provide two-in-one technologies with liquid loop video. Sorry, the liquid loop technology. And liquid loop technology is the technology that we got inspired uh, from the space science uh, to be able to do a new cooling technology. Let's roll the video. Pushing the boundaries of human achievement requires revolutionary technology, and powerful machines require powerful internal systems. The Loop Heat Pipe Cooling System has helped propel aeronautical achievements like these into the vast potential of space. Designed to imitate the human circulatory system, liquid cooling pumps its way through the Loop Heat Pipe System using recycled heat energy. Acer has endeavored to take this groundbreaking method of cooling one step further. By innovatively reducing its size, Acer puts the genius and potential of loop heat pipe technology in your hands with Liquid Loop. Enabling a fanless design, Acer's new Liquid Loop cooling system helps you make the most of a more stable, energy-efficient laptop and quiet working environment. Acer putting the impossible within reach. Liquid Loop technology is a cooling system that we invented and we embedded into this product. Now. <coughs> you want to talk a little bit about how we started and how does it work until now? So we've definitely used this before to great success. It uh, is inspired by a couple of things, as the video pointed out. It's been used in space and it's kind of modeled after the human circulatory system. It's a closed loop system, as the name implies. Uh, the CPU will heat up the liquid in the chamber. It will then agitate the liquid and push it through the loop where it will cool down, going back to the CPU where it's once again heated up. So it's closed loop, and, but no extra energy so, needed to drive it. So the heat from the CPU is what drives it. There's no power being taken from the battery. There are no fans that will make noise, add thickness to the device, or collect dust and clog down the system. And we're all very excited about that, and this time, we're going to double down by providing dual liquid load. And of course, you know, by doing so, you will be able, to be able to do more, right? For that, let's introduce Switch 7, right? Addition, let's see the video. So by definition, by the name, is Brad Kyla, am I right? <laughs> you are right. It is a matte black and it looks great. I think we'll have a sample here we can show everybody in a moment. 
But you know, the real story on the innovation here is the fact that if one liquid loop cooling solution was good, two are better. So we call it double down, right? Yep. Dual liquid loop cooling. And the advantage of that is we can cool both the processor and in this case, a discrete NVIDIA graphics card. So we put an extra graphic card into the system. Yes. Still without the fan. So it's more powerful, great cooling, thin device with the liquid loop, fanless, noiseless. One of the other innovations though is, is the, the case scan. design. It's yeah, the design. Hey, let's show the, the system here. Let's show the industrial design on the kick stand. So the Switch family has been around for a while and we continue to innovate. And this is an example of that. We have what we're calling the auto stand. And this is, as I show the audience here, the kick stand is in the back of the system. But when pressed on a hard surface, the kick stand will auto deploy. And now you're ready for action. Yeah, I understand a lot of people are actually feel clumsy for this two-in-one device, how to make the stand work. And now the kickstand will actually make it easy to just push it down, the stand will come out automatically. Auto deploy, the hinge mechanism is magnetic and very easy to work with as well. Very thin device, point out how powerful it is. This is the world's first fanless two-in-one with eighth generation Intel Core processor. Last one, for another first to the market product. We're very excited about that. Thank you. And the Spin family is our 360 convertible port online. Today, beyond the current Spin 1, 3, 5, 7, we'd like to bring you a new product, the Spin 5 product. We have the product actually on the video. So Spin 5 is a product that we specially, specially focus on the audio system. Yeah, the audio on this is incredible. We really made sure that the front-facing speakers are able to project sound to the user no matter the orientation of the system, whether it's being used as a laptop like this on an airplane in tent mode or even in tablet mode. The speakers will deliver the sound to the user, and it's an incredible sound. So always facing the audio system that provides you the best possible audio surrounding effect. Yes, there are a couple other tricks though related to audio. So when the screen changes orientation, the sound will match the orientation of the screen. So if a movie is being watched and audio, the, the car is driving across the screen, when you rotate the screen around, the audio will match the direction ah. of what's happening on screen. There's also uh, what I'll call a software amplifier which will adjust the sound to match the ambient noise in the room you are in. So it makes it uh, adjust automatically, raise or lower the volume to make it a better experience. That sounds great. And the next product line that we would like to brief you is the Swift family. Swift product line is Asus signature product line for thin and light. For that today, the first product line we'd like to share, share with you is Swift 5 product. The Swift 5 product comes with a very interesting design. It actually looks gorgeous. So the Swift series, we always focus on the design, whether it's materials or appearance or a combination of, and that's what we've done here. This is incredibly light. I can hold this with just a couple fingers. Wow. This is a lot lighter than uh, our system and any other uh, PCs in the industry for 14 inch. So this is our lightest system ever and it's also the lightest 14 inch laptop in the space as well. Beautiful device. So the weight is actually less than one kg. Yes. 
A year ago, the theme for our EFA event was to push the limit of how thin a computer can be. So we announced Swift 7, the thinnest computer in the world. Until today, Swift 7 continues to hold the position of thinnest computer in the world. And actually, we are pushing the limit to now less than 0.9 cm. Swift 7 products. How thin can you be? Jason, this is incredibly thin. We are constantly pushing to improve on our past success, and the Swift 7 is a great example of that. Just take a look at how incredibly thin that is. And it actually, actually work as well. <laughs> and it's quite powerful. It has a Core i7 processor, and for those people that are trying to get work done, obviously they want something light they can take with them. This also has 4G LTE connectivity. Always connect. Always connected wherever you go in an incredibly thin, beautiful device. And for that, we'd like to invite our friend from Intel to join me on the stage, Chris Walker. Let's welcome Chris. Chris, how are you doing? Thanks, Jason. Excellent. So it's a pleasure and privilege to be here with Acer to look at all the new innovations you're bringing to market. Um, we actually announced that our products come with the SGN CPU. Yeah, especially you know, last week we introduced our eighth generation core processors. But before we get into that, just wanted to compliment you on the Swift 7 we just saw. Fantastic <laughs> thin design. Um, most importantly, as we go thin like that and always connected, it's still a PC first. Right? And so these PCs have everybody's work and their social circles and their hobbies all in one device. Yes. And so people, first and foremost, wanted to have that great PC experience. And so the ability to have full core processor performance in that is, is quite a feat. And then with Intel LTE, you can have that always connected uh, experience and support of future technologies like eSIM, just to make getting online easy as ecosystems um, evolve and make getting online easier easier data access plans, I think that's going to be a fantastic solution. Um, when we thought about what's happening in the PC ecosystem, we think about the 450 million PC users who are still working on a PC, if you can imagine, of course, five yes. years old or older. True. They're bulky, they're tethered to the wall, um, they're running an old version of an operating system, and they can't even ex expect to think about new experiences like seamless pen and inking, mm -hmm. or Windows Mixed Reality as, as an example. So it's those things in mind that we had when we went after the design point for the new 8th gen core processors. Now we are giving people a good reason to refresh and to buy a new one. Absolutely, it's never been a better time for people to come back in and get, it, and get a new PC. What we did with the 8th generation core processors is within that same constrained thermal envelope that you see getting these new fantastic thin and light designs, we moved to four high performance processing cores to get that multitasking performance down into these systems. And at the same time, we maximize our use of our Turbo Boost technology to increase frequencies running on all four cores simultaneously so you get that burst of performance when and where you need it. So you are implementing the new semiconductor technology as well as a, a new architecture that uh, will be able to be parallel processing a lot more. We're able to blend our design and our process technology using 14 nanometer plus technology all together to get these results. Again, a 40% increase over just what we announced together last year. 40% increase? 40% on productivity, double that on from that five-year-old PC. And if I think about people wanting to create and share in 4K, that experience can be up to 14 times faster versus that old PC with these new 8th gen systems. Very exciting. Very so exciting. we're super excited for the new family. We're very excited to see what Acer's been able to do with it and these great systems. And we wanted to thank you for the partnership and showing us what can be next. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Thanks Jason. Thank you. Talking about what a new technology can do, we plan to brand the physical and digital reality together. For that, I would like to invite our friend from Microsoft, Peter Han, to join me on the stage. Peter, good morning. How should I say? Good morning. Good morning, Ni hao. Hello, good morning. It's great to be here, and congratulations also for a great lineup of products from Acer. 
Obviously, Microsoft and Acer have been working together for over 40 years across a full portfolio of products. We've been really excited to marry hardware and software to bring great experiences to life. When we think about things like Windows Mixed Reality, 3D for Everyone, or Windows Inking, these are the kinds of experiences that are coming to life in Windows 10 today. This week at IFA, we'll be talking a lot about our Fall Creators Update. We're going to be talking about new capabilities coming out with that portfolio. We're really excited to see how people, people can create and play differently with these Acer's devices. So there are contents that the industry is coming, coming in. There are contents that people will be able to create using our 360 degree cameras. That's right. The, the, you, you saw earlier the full portfolio. And when we look at products like the Nitro 5 Spin, which is a great PC for casual gaming, or the Spin 5 you saw really lights up a lot of the hero features in Windows. Things like Windows Hello for better security, Windows inking for better creative experiences that you can draw or take notes, or, or uh, Cortana. So you can oh, we look at Cortana. Yes. Uh, absolutely. The voice agent where you can speak. And Acer's done a, lot, a great job designing in both near field and far field microphones into your devices so that we can talk from a variety of distances to your PCs. Yeah, very excited for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Peter. Absolutely. So we really appreciate all the work done across the, this portfolio, certainly on the consumer side and gaming, and also in education, where you're bringing to life Windows Intune and our new offers around Minecraft and Office 365. So in general, great to see the progress, and congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> and for the coming Microsoft MR, we are actually bring in a new content that goes Bust game. Let's see the trailer. Thank you here for the ghost busting shot. Why are we are shipping the new uh, Microsoft MR? Uh, the, the first 30,000 users buying our MR will be able to get a free download for our uh, Ghostbuster game. And it's about time to see our gaming load video! For the gaming section, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Gamer, Stephen Funky, to join me on the stage. Stephen, hey, how are you doing recently? I'm doing great, how are you? Well, wonderful, and yeah. our product is doing well as well. Uh, our overall gaming product line for the first half has gone up uh, more than 90% year to year. And for particularly on the uh, gaming uh, uh, notebook area, yeah. uh, Predator has gone up more than 60% year-to-year growth. Yep, we've been phenomenal. And this is much higher than the, uh, the market trend, by the way. So yes. we're doing a very great job, especially in notebooks. And, and six months ago, you and me actually introduced our Thing and Live, Product Live, Predator Trident 700. That's right, Jason. How this product is doing? Sure, so, so far, our market reception to launching the Trident 700 has been absolutely phenomenal. So you can see behind me just some examples of the media coverage. Influencers are loving this device. When we launched the Triton 700, we made sure that we were going to portable gaming in the right way. And so we've been very careful and very happy um, to see this amazing reaction. And the reason I think that we've had such a positive uh, result and positive experience with this product is because we've been competitive in the right areas. So we have, for example, the only uh, mechanical keyboard for uh, this kind of portable gaming laptop, uh, which is phenomenal. People have been really loving the tactile feedback that that offers. Of course, performance is very important. So as usual, we're number one in the performance for our, our gaming notebook in the category um, with overclocking on the GTX 1080 uh, inside the notebook, which is phenomenal. That's amazing. Um, and of course, expandability. So, we know that users, particularly enthusiasts at the top end of the market, really want to have upgradability for the future, um, and they want to be able to expand uh, as storage options become 
um, a change in your price and uh, you know new new technology new features become available and thing like gaming is becoming a mainstream or a big a big, a big segment for the gaming area so in the past few months after we announced the first thing like gaming product the multiple company actually come out with similar products so we did our homework to That's look right. at that as well Right, so we wanted to make sure that uh, even though we, we announced this quite a while ago, as Jason mentioned, we are still by far in the lead. So you can see here one of our, what we consider our top competitor in the portable gaming one of the space. Competitors. Well, yeah, yeah and, and we've, we've beat them on many points. I mean, from networking to upgradability, the storage capability is, is much higher. We have a mechanical keyboard. And of course, the most important part, the performance. We are still very much in the lead um, in terms of portable gaming notebooks. But personally, I like the McKenna keyboard because yeah. thinking line is actually it's a challenge to design in a McKenna keyboard and we are the only one able to do so. Exactly right. And today, we would like to go beyond what we have done and now going into the display area. Yeah. Our display product line has done, gone up more than double year to year uh, for the first half of the year. Yeah, we've had phenomenal growth. And a lot of this is due to the growing eSport market. Um, I'm sure you guys have all seen a lot of the news with very big investments in the eSport industry recently. And we're really happy to have some amazing monitors, whole lines that are really geared toward professional gaming. And we've had significant demand from that. And today, we would like to introduce more. Our Predator X35. By definition, it's 35 inch. Yep. But let's see the product on the screen. By definition, it's 35 inch, and it uh, looks like uh, a curve, of yep. course, curve yep. design. But we already have 35 inch, we already have curve. Absolutely. What's different about this product? Sure, so uh, as you guys probably know, uh, we are really pioneering when it comes to curved displays, the top end of the gaming monitor market. And what we've done today is we've outdone ourselves, right? Even though we're number one, we, we need to keep it going, right? We can't slow down. So. What we've done when we created the Predator X35 is actually designed it from the ground up to be all about realism and simulation. So particularly on simulation everything. Yes, we're talking about racing simulations, uh, space simulators, uh, even maybe a farm simulator. <laughs> so what we designed uh, when we looked at all the different uh, specifications for this product and how to actually design it, um, we know that we wanted to do curves because it's by default more immersive. And what we did is we've actually been able to almost remove the bezels. I mean, uh, you can see uh, behind me in a moment, there's almost no bezel here. And with a triple monitor setup, which is perfect for a simulator game, particularly racing sims, um, this is an absolutely incredible, definitely the most immersive experience you'll get with a display. So that people will never, the two gamma will never miss a spot. Exactly. Now, of course, with the simulator, as you guys know, it's very important to have a very, uh, you know, very good resolution, right? High res, and then also very fast refresh rate. So we're very happy to announce the X35 is going to be a 3840 by 1440p resolution at 200 hertz. 200 hertz, yes. that's a lot of refresh rate. Yes, this is gonna be an incredible monitor. We really wanted to design this for someone who is just going to make the, the most ridiculous gaming setup that's possible. Yeah, that's exciting. Yep. And for the desktop area, uh, year to year, we has gone up more than 50%. Yep. Uh, but we all know, uh, for gaming desktop, a lot of people like to do DIY. That's right. And today, we will like to bring you a new product, I will call it a super gaming product that will inspire by high performance computing. And for that, allow us to introduce you Predator Orion 9000. See the video.
This is like a true gamer's dream come true. Absolutely. So when we set out to design the Orion 9000, we really wanted to make it a platform for gaming. This is kind of like a centerpiece that is the hub of your gaming setup, your gaming room. And we've really outdone ourselves this time. It's really, really nice. Uh, so we, want, we need to make sure that we consider a wonderful design, product, architecture, as well as the expandability that a DIY market that people would like to have. Exactly right. So we're actually going to bring out the device right over here. You can take a look at it. Um, as Jason mentioned, we really wanted to learn from the top end of the market, which is typically uh, DIY machines um, with you know, custom liquid cooling and, and all these kind of expandability and upgradability options. So what we've done is design our own chassis, bringing our experience with PC gaming, and we're including all of those awesome features that DIY gamers really love. And of course, it starts with the chassis. So we've uh, allowed this chassis to be designed very similarly to what you'll see in the DIY market. So users can upgrade it. It's got tons of expandability storage options um, and cooling, which we'll get into uh, in a little bit. But I mean, just take a look at this design. The chassis actually provides the see-through that people like to have. Yep, absolutely. And I don't know if you noticed in the video, but We've, uh, we've actually put wheels on this one. So even though this is a very big, uh, big chassis, right? It's even gonna be a little bit portable for you. Really phenomenal design. It's a bit heavy, but it's portable. Sure. Now, of course, uh, when we build a computer like this, we need to make sure that it's got top-end performance inside. So we're very happy to announce that this product will be shipping with the brand new Intel Core i9 Extreme Edition. This is going to be an 18 core CPU. 18 core, core yeah. i9. Yes. And of course, uh, with liquid cooling as well. So, this is really going to be a powerhouse of a machine. Absolutely powerful. And for gaming machine, graphic is also very important. Of course. So, we'll um, actually have four PCIe slots inside on the motherboard. So, you can have up to four way GPU configurations. And we'll be shipping this product with both NVIDIA SKUs and AMD SKUs. So you can choose whatever type of graphics setups or GPU setup, multi-GPU setup that you want. And this is going to be great if you're trying to drive an experience like the simulation with the X35s that we just showed. You're going to want all those GPUs in there. And when we have any core CPU and up to four graphics, the thermal will be always a challenge. And for that, we actually also have a breakthrough technology. You want to talk about that? Sure, so we're calling our thermal management in this device Ice Tunnel 2.0. Now, before in the past, most of our pre-built systems, um, we set the fans in place, and the user, we don't let you change it, right? Everything's already pre-built and pre-set. What we've done with this is taken a totally different approach. So we actually um, can include liquid cooling for the CPU inside. We'll ship it to you with liquid cooling. And we partnered with Cooler Master on that, very trusted name uh, in terms of cooling. And we worked together with him to develop the solution. And in addition, we've given users space to customize and upgrade and add their own fans. So you can actually have up to five fans inside the chassis. And the way we designed it um, on top and in the front, you can actually see that this is a grill and we haven't, we haven't restricted the airflow or blocked it in any way. So the airflow is going to pass through. And what we've done new, why we're calling it 2.0, is we've actually split the inside of the chassis, the internals, into different zones. So, so we partition them. Exactly right, exactly. So for example, um, we have a shroud for the PSU, uh, the power supply unit, and so it keeps the airflow separate. And that helps us to direct the airflow more efficiently. And you can see in the video, we have a huge lift going up out of the top of the device and straight through um, airflow coming out the back. So it's really going to keep the most important components very, very cool. That's wonderful. Yes. There's one more thing for the see-through, the transparency panel. Absolutely. So one of the problems, and I think a lot of consumers probably don't realize this, but if you buy a, a DIY chassis with a, a giant um, plastic window or a glass window, actually it's 
probably not uh, been EMI certified, right? So if you have other electronic devices, can tell people close, more about this e EMI thing. Sure, sure. So EMI is uh, electromagnetic interference, and basically what happens is when you have two devices next to each other. For example, you put your cell phone next to your desktop speaker. Um, you may find some interference. Maybe the you'll suddenly hear the it's playing the radio, and you didn't want it to play the radio. Um, and even on televisions, you may see uh, some lines if you have too many devices next to each other. That's a result of EMI. And so we wanted to solve this problem to make sure that uh, we don't have any crosstalk in the Yeah, 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 but how, how do we solve it? Tell right, so that. what we've done is behind the window, we've actually developed a metal mesh. A and mesh. this, yeah, and this actually limits the emissions and keeps everything inside. Um, that's coming from the PC, but also if you have external devices, it will also keep um, the signals out as well. So we can, and we can open this up. This is the first time I think we've had a, uh, an easy, easy panel that we can take out. So and easy to upgrade, right? Mesh, uh, inside it, they will be able to do both see-through transparency as well as preventing the EMI leakage. Yes. And of course, <laughs> of course, Jason, we can't ship a product this year, a high-end gaming product, without lots of color. So we will, of course, give our fans what they want. We've put LEDs in the fans. We have LEDs on the motherboard. Um, you'll be able to control all this with software. 16.7 million colors. It'll be really great. And this product is coming out very soon. It will be available this holiday cycle. And you know what? Even though we will, you'll be able to buy this in configurations with four GPUs, uh, crazy liquid cooling, all you know the bells and whistles. We're actually not going to lock this away for most of our consumers. We're actually going to start this off at a very reasonable price, around two to three thousand dollars. So you'll actually be able to reasonably afford this chassis. So starting from there, and then go all the way up to upgrade memories and graphics and everything, right? Of course, of course. You want to talk a little bit about the memory? How big the memory can go up to? Sure. So we've actually included all eight <coughs> DIMM slots. So you'll be able to get up to the full capabilities of the uh, new X299 platform, which is 128 uh, gigabytes of RAM. Wow. <laughs> and and yeah. the storage is big. Yeah, up to 44 terabytes of storage supported. Well, for terabyte. Yeah. It's like a server. Yeah, almost, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So thank you. Thank you for the so line. And when we are doing this, we'll also listen very carefully how gamers like to have desktop, notebook, monitor, but there's one extra thing that they would like to have to create their own dream gift. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce Acer Predator Gadget Point Online. Let's see the video. My evil twin. Oh uh, well, I believe you. <laughs> so talking about gadgets, a lot of people have this special design keyboard, mouse that we all have. What's special about us today? Sure. So we're really happy to let you all know today that we'll be expanding our lineup of products. We've already done a great <laughs> job with desktops, monitors, notebooks, and now we are going to be com completing the whole room, right? The whole setup is what we want to achieve. So. We'll have a ton of new uh, Predator gadgets coming very soon. Today, we have this right here in my hand to show <laughs> off to you. This is the Galia 500 gaming headset. Gaming headset. Well, you provide surrounding sounds of wonderful audio quality. What else? 
So what's really special about this headset, in addition to premium features like 7.1 virtual surround sound and a biocellulose driver, uh, if you know audio, that's pretty premium, uh, premium stuff. But what we want to talk about today is what makes this unique. You know, there's a lot of gaming headsets already on the market. So when we set out to create this product, we knew we needed to make something totally different, have a really very unique feature that really makes us stand out in the market. And, so, is? and that is our 3D soundscape technology. 3D this, soundscape. Exactly, yes. And this is really important. So this has not been done before in terms of uh, gaming audio. Basically, you can imagine, um, we showed before the triple monitor setup with the X35. Now imagine for a moment, you're like me in the video, you take a look to your right to see if a car is passing you on your, your monitor that's over here on the right side. Well, when you do that today, your headphone does not know that you've moved your head. It has no idea. It's basically static, right? Exactly. So the audio, when you move your head, is actually not going to match reality. It's going to take you out of that immersive environment. What our headphone does is it actually is processing in real time um, with algorithms that are built into the headset itself. as a processor in there. So and there's a processing inside the headset. It's actually tracking your head movement. So you can see in the video, when I move my head to look over here, I'm actually hearing now in my left ear what's in front of me and in my right ear what's behind me. And this is incredibly immersive. It's going to be really great for these big surround display setups. But well, you know, see is believing, listening is believing. Today we actually have a setup later after the event for people to try it out. That's right. We have a bunch of these units. It's already working. We have the demo here today. So stop by and try it out. It's really a phenomenal experience. Thank you, Stephen. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. So when we are working on the hardware, we are also working with the ecosystem, the true gaming. League of Legends, the biggest game in the world. Let's welcome John Nidham from Riot to join me on the stage. John, Hi, how are Jason. you doing? Great to see you. Love those gaming products. I'm buying all of them just to tell my wife. Yeah, you go. So proud to be here today to talk about the League of Legends esports scene and our partnership with Acer. So for those of you who don't know, League of Legends is a team-based online PC game that puts competition at its core. We currently have more than 100 million monthly active players that feed into a thriving esports system. And I'm one of them. <laughs> we'll play some time. For us, esports is a celebration of the best league players from around the world. It's professional, competitive gaming, and we think it's the future of sports and digital entertainment. So League of Legends is the world's fastest growing sport and it's the largest and most mature eSport. So uh, right now we broadcast in 18 languages and we have tournaments in 13 different regions around the world. 13 different regions. 13 different regions. So if you haven't seen one of our eSports competitions, here's a quick look. Let's see the video. As a child, you would wait and watch for far away But you always knew that would you be Oh, sweet wild something awesome game you wouldn't believe the energy at these events it's awesome 
So Riot, we don't like to judge ourselves on numbers, but we want to put things in context for you all. So in 2016, during our World Finals, we had 43 million unique viewers. That was at our Staples Center. That's a big Center. number. It's a big number. And we held that at Staples Center in Los Angeles. For the World Series, the, the whole series for the championship, we had over 370 million hours of live esports watched. And at one point, we had nearly 15 million simultaneous viewers. 15 million. 15 million. And Jason Acer was right with us uh, at our side. We're very excited about that, and we're proud of be, be part of it. Yeah, we are too. So Acer was our official partner and monitor provider for the 2016 World Championship. We also had an all-star event right after that you were part of as well. And it was a partnership that was really successful on many levels. Partners like Acer are critical to eSports. Acer is focused on gamers with great products and hardware targeted to give our players a competitive edge. has really helped to bring high quality, cutting edge eSports to our fans worldwide. Predator monitors were used on stage. We also put them in our pro player room. So our pros were practicing and competing with the best hardware at the most critical moment. The official device. Yeah, the official device. And this is the kind of brand synergy that our community loves, that our audience uh, expects from us. And it's why we're gonna continue our partnership uh, with Acer next year and beyond. So 2017 is our most exciting season yet. And we're thrilled to announce that for our second consecutive year, we're gonna be partnering with Acer. So thank you very much. 2017 partnership with Riot, with Legal Major. Thank you, thank you, John. Yeah, we kicked this off uh, with our mid-season invitational in Brazil last May. And this next weekend, we've got our North American and European championships where we'll send the winners of those tournaments as a first place seed at Worlds uh, that happens in November. And in November, in November, we're going to be holding our most ambitious World uh, Finals at the Bird's Nest in Beijing, China, and we'll crown one team League of Legends World Champion. Once again, Acer is going to be at all these events with us this year. They'll be with us again next year, which is awesome. Uh, so we'll hope you'll be watching. Thank you, Acer, for being a great partner and for being such a critical part of bringing great esports to our fans. Thank you, John. Thank you. Cheers. Let's see this one. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for today, but this is not the end of it because the best is yet come. Thank you! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for your time.